I, I think in, in general, if we say, well, that you, you have problems uh, with an industry, um, uh, within a certain country, it is almost not a separate thing. So it's, it's the overall economy that is slow. And of course, automotive as a major industry is influenced by that. Um, looking on it on a, on a longer scale, I would say, uh, the outside view on India, view, on, on India is, is typically that we say, well, there is so much potential in this country as a market, but also as a producer of cars, so that the whole world is, is waiting for what will happen in India. And there is a lot of kind of fantasy that uh, India continues its, its strong way to become one of the major players in the industry. Uh, but then you have those setbacks. I think this economic setback right now doesn't worry at all. It's more the, the general context. So is India uh, really positioned to have the right framework conditions for the industry to perform well? So do they have the right subsidies? Do they have the right taxes? Is there a right balance? Um, is it um, that the, the government says, well, from a portfolio point of view, I will invest in that industry to be successful and also being successful as individual companies? That's a question that is still open. Uh, and this will define whether uh, India is just moving good or whether it is moving exceptionally good. It will move good because India is a good market. But in terms of global player, I think uh, there can be a huge difference. Because looking, for example, on how many top players in OEMs or suppliers you have in India, I think there is much more room for you to grow. I think the, the, the most important lesson is that uh, India is a large market, but if you want to balance the risk, you need to be strong in other regions of the world as well. So that's probably the most important. When I have discussions um, uh, in India, often we say, well, we are not that much interested in what does happen in Europe or US because we are growing fast and we have a large market. Mm -hmm. And that was only one year ago. <laughs> and, and now you see, well, yeah, you have cycles in a, in, in, a, in a country, so go outside, be globally competitive. This is a good uh, opportunity for, for growth, but also risk avoidance in downturns in your country. We need to differentiate. So, so we have the OEM side, so vehicle motorcycle manufacturers, and we have the supplier side. I think on the supplier side, uh, there is no barrier at all. There is a barrier in mind, but there are very successful suppliers on a global base and with the kind of cost structure you are having, but also with the kind of technological expertise you have, it, it's, it's, it's only in, in the brain of the companies. So again, their focus is too much on India. Uh, if we look on, on the car side, of course, it's a little bit more difficult because uh, if you export uh, and you do that from, from India, um, you have one, uh, the, the cost uh, advantage you have in India is eaten up to some extent if you export. And, and product-wise, it's that you can compete in some segments, but not all. Uh, in, in, in my view, what uh, could be done uh, from the OEM side is really defining clearly what are the markets. And in, in my opinion, Europe in that instance is probably not the right one, at least Western Europe. But Eastern Europe could, could be a market. It could be Africa. It could be Thailand. Focusing on those with some quality-wise excellent products, but cost-wise also uh, good products. I think that would help to strengthen the competitiveness. India is, 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 is now not only a chaser, uh, but it's, all, all, it's being chased by other countries. 
And yeah, Indonesia, it's Turkey, it's um, Africa, I wouldn't uh, regard as, as being that competitive. But um, there, there is a lot coming up. So again, in, in India, there, there are two, two, two things. It's really going out uh, in the globe, compete in the global market, because competition there is usually stronger than in India. Uh, so in, in order to improve the overall competitive in terms of sales and products. And the other side is really working on what you have asked also, uh, looking on your operations. Here India is, is now in a position that they need to be carefully looking on what our companies doing in Europe, in US, who are probably the most efficient in the world, also in Japan, and apply those techniques to India that will strengthen their competitiveness. It's not only looking, am I better in my operations than my neighbor in India? It's, am I on a global best practice?